The goal of our paper is to develop a new 3D shape representation for surface reconstruction and course correspondence. Deep implicit functions, like occupancy networks, are highly effective for reconstructing the 3D shapes of individual objects. However, they represent all shapes as a single latent vector, so they do not scale or generalize well beyond the training classes. Meanwhile, methods like SIF can infer consistent structured decompositions of shapes. However, they cannot reproduce shape details. Our key idea is to infer local deep implicit functions, a new 3D representation. An LDIF is a set of deep implicit functions localized in space with consistent structure. LDIF is similar to SIF because it decomposes shape into local regions, but it also attaches a latent vector to each region. LDIF is similar to a deep implicit function because it decodes latents to a function over space, but distinct in that the function is local and must only represent fine details. To investigate this idea, we developed a system to infer an LDIF representation from depth images. The system starts with one or more depth images with known cameras as input. These may come from an input mesh, in which case we render a stack of depth images, or be a single observation. The first step of our pipeline is to predict a SIF template using a CNN. The SIF template defines the coarse structure of our reconstruction, but not the fine details. To get those details, we encode the local region in 3D around each SIF primitive independently with the latent feature vector. To do so, we first compute a point cloud with estimated normals from the depth image. We transform the point cloud to the frame of a local SIF element and extract a local region. A point net local shape encoder generates a short feature vector. We do this in parallel for each of the SIF elements. We concatenate the SIF template and the latent features for each shape element to form the LDIF representation. To determine whether a query location X is inside or outside the predicted shape, we transform the query to each local frame. We evaluate the SIF parameters analytically and evaluate the latent codes using a reduced parameter version of the occupancy network's architecture. We combine the coarse template shape and the latent shape details to form the overall reconstruction. Our loss is based only on the final reconstruction quality. By evaluating it queries on a regular grid and running marching cubes, we can extract a mesh. For the first experiment, we evaluate autoencoders for each representation trained on ShapeNet. The goal is to determine how detailed and accurate each representation can be. The target mesh is shown alongside a mesh extracted from each representation. We find that LDIF can improve over the state-of-the-art F-score by 10 points with only 0.4% of the decoder parameters. Showing individual examples and reporting only the mean over the dataset can be heavily influenced by the best or worst examples. To avoid this problem, we also plot results for every example in the dataset sorted by F-score. We see that our reconstructions are the most accurate for 93% of examples. Next, we evaluate the robustness of each method by testing on classes never seen during training, like piano. LDIF generalizes better to unseen shape classes because of its independent local latent features, achieving an 18-point improvement to F-score. Here we show results on posed depth image completion. The input posed depth image is shown as green points, while the reconstruction is in gray underneath. This experiment shows improvements of over 15 points in F-score. While not as detailed as domain-specific templates, which require manual design and keypoint labeling, LDIF improves over existing unsupervised methods for fitting real scans of humans. We demonstrate the consistency and unsupervised correspondence capabilities of LDIF by fitting each frame of this motion capture sequence independently. Note that LDIF accurately reconstructs the surface while finding a correspondence between the body parts with no supervision. LDIF may be useful in scanning and shape completion domains where carefully constructed templates or correspondence supervision are unavailable. An important advantage to LDIF is efficiency. It requires only 8,000 parameters in the decoder compared to 2 million for ACNET. Because of the small number of decoder parameters, LDIF can be evaluated densely on a 128 cubed grid at 20 frames per second. To summarize, we have introduced LDIF, a new 3D shape representation. Its key novelty is that it localizes learned implicit surface functions in space. This enables it to capture local detail with fewer decoder parameters and without any part level or correspondence supervision. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website for code and more information.